So the task is to design a test jig for a planetary axle gearbox. First we need to model the gearbox from the supplied drawings and look at the test requirements. We need to spin the axle at 600 revs for 20 minutes in each direction, test for oil leaks and then check for any excessive vibration. It needs to be bench mounted, transportable but sturdy once it's located in position. A variable speed brushless motor to drive it, viewing panels to observe the testing, fully guarded with an electric motor cut off when the guards are opened and we need to be able to test one or two units independently. So let's look at the tabletop design. Basically it's a bracket which we can clamp the axle onto and then run it into a coupling um, and then the motor will turn the whole axle. So here you'll see that's come into position. And now let's look at the completed jig which is basically two of these desk uh, tabletop units um, and the necessary drives and guarding. And there you have it. Let's look at the loading requirements now for the table to get it to the jig. And we need a safe and foolproof loading method and a, a table that can be used for assembling the, um, the, the axle prior to moving it. Here's the axle coming into place. And then we need to secure it to the table with four nuts. Once it's secure, we can release the clamps, which then will allow us to rotate it through 90 degrees before presenting it to the jig. Let's take a look at that after we've manufactured it, and you'll see that um, it perfectly performs the design intent. Now we can present the um, axle to the jig, fasten it to the actual jig itself with eight bolts, and of course then we need to remove the four nuts to, to release it from the actual assembly table. We're then in a position to remove the table and um, ready for loading another one. Close the guards, which have got electronic uh, cutoffs and then we're ready to actually spin the motor and there you have the unit of course we need the engineering drawings which are dropped out after the design is approved and then here's the finished jig after manufacture trust you enjoyed that uh, little walkthrough if you want to contact me you'll see the um, details on screen and also i'll provide them in the links below thank you very much